Okay, <laughs> name is Wayne Stepp, and we live at Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. Here's the well. Back in 2008, we had a big flood up here, and we had water running all over, and I took a sample in, and it proved unsafe. The well water of rural homeowners can become contaminated by viruses and bacteria. Fixing that problem depends on whether the contamination comes from livestock or humans. A project funded by the University of Wisconsin Water Resources Institute is helping to tell the difference among these several sources. Uh, we have a farmer that's right at the back of us and uh, up until uh, 208 he was putting manure on his uh, fields out there. Sam Sibley is helping to devise a way to filter out these pathogens from well water and to determine their source. Sibley is using a filter originally created for a very different purpose. It's a filter that's used in human medicine. So anyone that's ever known anyone that has had dialysis, that patient has used a filter similar to this. Small molecules can go through, but anything the size of a virus or a bacteria or any kind of microorganism gets trapped inside these tubes. What we can do is we can go to these homeowners that have had historical instances of contamination and concentrate 100 liters of water to try to improve our chances of finding microorganisms and in, in particular these viruses that are species specific. The strength of the system is that you can concentrate a variety of different microorganisms because concentration or collection of the microorganisms is based on size rather than any specific chemical characteristic of your virus or bacteria or protozoa. We can say very confidently that this segment of DNA came from a person or a cow or for a pig, from a pig or a sheep. The hundred or so milliliters of water that's now trapped inside this filter contains the microorganisms that would have been present or that are present if they are here in 30 gallons of water. Sibley takes the samples back to the lab to be analyzed. The process takes several days. What we have here now is the final clean and concentrated DNA sample that started as 100 liters of groundwater and is now 100 microliters of DNA that's clean and ready to be analyzed. Steve Ellis is with the drinking water program at the Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources. These are very, very helpful techniques, both the bacterial tracking and the viral tracking as it becomes more prevalent. Uh, those these tools will really help us delineate sources of contamination so that as we move forward, we can make decisions from a land use perspective. Where are the best places to spread manure? Uh, where are the places to put septic systems? Do we need to redesign our septic systems? Uh, the type of research that uh, you're funding through viral tracking and uh, the bacterial tracking is going to be very helpful to the groundwater professionals in the state. I've got both my fingers crossed. <laughs> this research is brought to you by the Wisconsin Water Resources Institute. Mm -hmm.